Hey there. Okay. Q and A. This video is long overdue. We haven't talked in a while, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, I'm kind of just doing away with vlogs. I might do one here and there, but... Nah. Coming at you live from my bathtub. Why? I, I don't know. You're asking me. Okay, first question. Who inspired you to get into photography? Um... No one really, I just kind of decided, hey, I make videos, I'm a cinematographer, I have kind of an eye for light and like camera angles and stuff like that, so photography was just kind of second nature, I guess, and so I just started taking rad photos. Also, my social media links are in the description, so if you want to take a look at my Instagram, drop a follow. Eh? Favorite color? Um, black. Definitely black. Black is like my soul color. So, I mean, inside and outside, you know what I mean? When did you get your first camera slash lens? Uh, shoot, a couple months ago, like a year ago almost. How long have you been doing photography? Um, I guess since the first time I ever took a picture, because I mean anyone that takes pictures is a photographer, like, that's the bottom line. Like, if you take pictures, you're a photographer. It's just whether or not you take good picture or not, I guess. I mean, anyone can be a photographer. What's your favorite video slash picture you've made slash taken? Um, my favorite video is probably an ode to spring. I really like that video. Uh... I wanted to give it kind of a choppy, slow-mo, timeless kind of vibe. And uh, yeah, I think I nailed it right on the head with that sort of vibe. I don't know, I just really like the way that video turned out. And I put some, uh, some vaporwave music to it. I don't know, I just really like it. Um, my favorite picture is probably the one where I'm in my bathtub, much like now. And I've got the scissors. Got the line across my neck. I don't know. It was just a uh, really fun picture to make. I had a lot of fun. So yeah. Um, it wasn't even like that good of a picture. I just really enjoyed making it. About what ratio is your photography mobile or camera? Like 99% of it is from my phone. So mobile. And about 1% of it is... Uh, Photos I've taken on my big camera that just kind of stay in my computer and never see the light of day. What was your first video slash picture you took? I have no idea. If you mean YouTube, this is my first video. Instagram, this is my first photo. How do you get your ideas? I don't know. I'm just like kind of a creative person and uh, I kind of have an appreciation for really all forms of art. So I just kind of get inspired by all kinds of art. Like I could be listening to music and I could uh, just be closing my eyes and just like kind of piecing together a movie inside my head. My brain just works like that. Like if I'm in the car just riding down the road, I can literally look at like the street and like cars and trees and landmarks and buildings and I can literally like frame shots in different angles and literally piece together a movie in my head because I'm slightly insane. I just 
kind of get ideas all the time. Um, but if I'm really like struggling for an idea, I'll just put on music or I'll draw or I'll just look at pictures. I'll watch other people's films and just try to soak up as much as I can and just kind of brainstorm like that. How cheap should I go for a good quality camera that won't break the bank? Good question. I recommend my camera. It's called the Nikon D3200. Very good camera for the cost. Uh, you don't get all the bells and whistles like the uh, the Calvin, the Kelvin, Calvin, Kelvin, the white balance stuff. And you also don't get Wi-Fi, so that's why you never see pictures from my big camera. One, because my lens is currently broken. And two, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, so I can't put my pictures onto my phone to upload them to Instagram. Do you want to go to college, or are you just going to do film and photography? Uh, I might go to film school, but right now college is not looking like something I want to do. I've never been a school kind of person, and uh, I'm starting to see that more than ever right now. I cannot do school. <laughs> so uh, going to college just does not seem like a good idea. I might go to film school or any other visual arts type of school, but I'm not a uh, normal job type of person, if you know what I mean. And uh, I'm always going to be making videos, I'm always going to be taking pictures, I know that now. Like maybe not YouTube, because I mean, who knows, YouTube might go down the drain by next year, but I can tell that videos and photos are something I want to continue into my adult life. What inspires you to make your videos? That's a good question. I really love making videos. Like, it's super fun. Like it doesn't even feel like work. Editing... Yeah. My computer is like absolute garbage. Uh, I don't dislike editing, but it's really a chore when it comes to my computer. Uh, but yeah, I just like, I love every part of making videos, so why do I need inspiration, you know, when I just love doing it? Who inspires you the most? Dude, I have like so many role models and idols. Like, Casey Neistat, he's the one that got me into YouTube. Luca Fursco, like, he's an incredible filmmaker. g Easy, Danny Seth, Cayman Klein, like, Logic. So many people inspire me. Like, I can't just narrow it down to one human being. Like, Luca Fursco, like, he's kind of... I don't know, he just, like kind of inspires me to be myself because like he's like really big into fashion and like he wears outfits that some people like might laugh at or think he's weird or gay or anything like that and he just he just doesn't care and like I thought at first when I started watching him I was just like that's incredible like how do you how do you get that mindset and like now, everyone, all of my friends know that I do not care. I couldn't give one, mate. Like, I, I don't know. He just kind of inspired me to be me and be me unapologetically. How did you learn to skateboard? I actually didn't learn how to skateboard on a skateboard. I learned how to skateboard on those little, like, two-wheel ripstick wiggle board things. And I would just like ride around the car and keep my hands on the car so I wouldn't fall. And I would just go around the car until I got comfortable enough to go out into the driveway. And once I got really good at just like riding on flat ground, I used to go down like little hills. And then I bombed like the biggest hill in my neighborhood and almost got hit by a car. 
and my love for um, sports that involve a board just grew from there. I got my first skateboard when I was like nine, and I've just been skating and doing stuff like that ever since. What do you think about life? What flavor bleach do you recommend? Um, my favorite personally is strawberry. Uh, oh my god! What do you believe are the things needed in someone for you to like them slash love them? a really good question. I don't know. They, uh, <laughs> they have to be able to put up with my bullcrap. That's number one. Probably the biggest thing. I mean, I'm always sticking cameras in people's faces and running around skateboarding and injuring myself and splitting my skull open. I always take a super long time to take Instagram pictures. And Number two, and equally as important, they have to have a contagious smile. If their smile makes me smile, then that's the best thing ever. This is obvious, I guess, but like, if when they're happy makes me happy, then that's like the best thing too. What is your stance on feminism? Um, I'm not gonna say I'm a feminist, but I am definitely an advocate for gender equality, if that makes sense. And I'm all for LGBT rights and all of that. Um, where does one acquire such an awesome rink? A. Hey. This is my ring. I got it from Vitali Design. They're a company based in Toronto. And they are super cool. Um, they have a lot of cool stuff. They have clothes, jewelry. Like, they just sell a bunch of really cool stuff. I'll put their link in the description if you want to go check them out. Um, I think that's it. If you want to leave me questions, my Instagram is the place to go. I also have my Snapchat down there. But check it out. My social media is the best way to see what I'm up to, see what I'm filming, see what I'm going to upload. It's just the best place to reach me, ask questions, the whole shebang. It's all down there.